Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to go over a couple different scenarios using Elliott Wave Theory. We're going to go over bearish scenarios, bullish scenarios, and my main scenario that I'm currently playing and I'm currently trading. We're also going to hit some smaller time frame analysis to get you into these trades as soon as possible here. Stick around, stick with me. Guys, as you know, we use Elliott Wave Theory to come up with high probability trades. If you don't use Elliott Wave, I'm telling you, it's a cheat code. I live by the sword. I die by the sword. Join the Discord linked in the description below. It is free. If you want to learn Elliott Wave, join up. There's a premium option for daily alerts, 24-7 live charts. You get an Elliott Wave course included as well. Indicators all in the premium option. All access through the free Discord down below. Let's get into it. Um, we're at a point now, guys, where Bitcoin and the crypto markets are <clears throat> have presented a couple different wave scenarios and i like i said i'm going to show you my most probable scenario that i'm playing i think it's one that no one's really looking at but has a great chance of playing out here uh we just had the halving i believe so you know people are maybe bullish on that i, I don't know what the sentiment is but i would assume bullish so let's, let's dive into the charts this first first scenario here is saying that we have a finished correction in ABC and we're going to impulse for one final wave up and then we're going to dump. So in this situation, we have put the bottom in at the one to one ratio from the Fib extension and we're going to hit one more wave up to complete our ABC and then we're going to dump down to finish our flat. All right. This main structure is what I've been playing. Um, this in here has intricacies and this isn't my what i'm playing currently is my main scenario in here but overall this is my main structure that i'm playing i'm going to show you guys the bullish case if this doesn't play out and we keep going up as well so stick with me scenario number one again stating that the bottom has been put in of this correction and we're going to impulse in five waves we already got our one going to work on two three four five up to around 78k all right Next scenario is saying, oh, it's also bearish, and it's saying that our top has already been put in here. We have an impulse wave to the downside. We already put on our two, and we're going to really start hitting hard, three, four, five. And that is, again, our ABC, and then we can get bullish. So <clears throat> in both these scenarios, we're coming down. One says the top's already been put in. One says one more high needs to get put in. But in this case, we put in our two wave right here and we have a leading impulse, maybe correct here in the form of an ABC. And then we really dump. A scenario number two. Now guys, I need you to put in the comments down below. I need to know, do we think what gets broken first, 80K or 25k 80k or 25k what gets broken first leave a comment down below let me know what gets taken out first 80k or 25k you know where i stand baby 25k all day is getting taken out first let's go next scenario is the bullish scenario which we would probably come and tap 100k pretty easily um in this in this case you know we have a one two put in all this is three maybe go get one more high and then really correct um to a four wave down to around 56k and then we start impulsing up out of here um have a nice test of this breakout region right here impulse out of here to at least 100k right so in this situation that would be the top and then from there we would expect at least a larger scale correction like that Something like that, and then we can go up for some more if we want. This is Ellie Wave Theory, guys. As you can see right here, what I drew, this is a perfect wave. And then we get one more push up. But you can see we have what was called a head and shoulders with, with the normal people around here who normal retail, retail traders like to call a head and shoulders. But in Ellie Wave terms, it's just a finished impulse and then a correction down. And we pull fibs to find targets instead of the breakout and then you take your target which is 
top of the head to the shoulders would be somewhere around here, right? So that's that. That's our 100K scenario. And my scenario that I'm playing, before we get into the smaller time frames, and stick with me because the small time frame is important here. The scenario that I'm currently playing, boom, is tricky. It's a flat. And now I'll zoom out so you can see kind of where we're at. This is on the daily. This is what it's looking like for me. Let's get into the four hour. So I have an initial wave to the downside here. We have a correction up. We have a flat one, two, three, four, five correction down that broke the low and I'm expecting an impulse up. All right. So all of this is our correction. It's a flat. It's a tricky flat, but it's a flat. And with this correction, I would love to take out these levels, look like it's gonna take the all time high out, stop somewhere in there, and then start impulsing down to finish our correction on the bigger scale. Somewhere around 54K. And then we could turn around and move up. On the daily time frame, guys, let's look. You know, I have it drawn out on some other charts, but RSI. Oh, it's not going to let me get it. Let me move over. RSI broke our, our trend line here. It retested our trend line, and I'm we're retesting it right now. I would want to see continuation for a full reset of RSI. Um, but this could... In, in, in this scenario, what would happen is RSI would simply come up, have a fake breakout, come up, get over overbought again, and then put in some divergences, come down, put in hidden bullish divergence, and then come up to take out our liquidity. Wouldn't want to see ADK broken, and then we impulse down to complete are flat on the bigger time frames. Right? So now let's get into the like that. Let's get into the smaller time frames, guys. Let's see what trades are, are showing themselves here. It's the weekend, so be careful. But ultimately, if you know, as we know, I'm playing flat, so I'm looking for this to impulse. I'm looking for this to be a one two three four five come, doesn't come and break the high right there that's what I'm playing so knowing that what I'm looking for and what I'm playing this week and I'm currently short but it's playing a flat right here comes down like that we tap the the local high here I don't know if it quite took it out but we definitely tapped it we have a correction down right now. It looks like a correction up. I would love to see an impulse wave down, take out this liquidity, come down here to around 62, 62.5, 62.5, 62.7, somewhere in that range. And then look to long. I'm short right now. It's a small short, it's a cheeky short. But right down here, if we get this move, is where I'll be going heavy on a long. And I'll be looking to impulse up out of here and start taking up out these higher, uh, this higher liquidity. Man, can you imagine if it took out all this, did not break the high, and then dumped? Number one, it would take out all the shorts, and then dump. It would rip out all the longs, and then finally go up for our final wave to 78k, 76k. It just looks too beautiful for me too beautiful but ultimately if you think this is going to impulse up or just correct up your move is going to be the same so it could just correct up and just give you an abc something like that you're looking for this this liquidity to get taken around 62.5 you know if this wants to come up and make another high and you have your one two one two three four five it can still turn around and, and give you this move I'm playing I'm playing it stopping here, but it could take it out 
there's liquidity up here guys there really is and then come down tomorrow into monday and then we start getting our move to the upside so that's what i'm playing guys guys if you're wondering what i trade with it's mexi it's linked uh in the description below no kyc no vpn the lowest fees of any exchange right now click the link for 10 percent off the fees too uh if you use the link below up to a thousand dollar deposit bonus join the discord guys it is free there's a premium option within the discord as well i'll see every single one of you in there subscribe if you're not already it means a lot thank you appreciate you watching i'll see you in the next one